There you are getting a great view of Crew 9 inside Dragon Freedom as it returns back to Earth. We are awaiting the drogue deploys. This view coming from the WB-57 high altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue deployment. You can hear the crowd here on two healthy drogues. The crowd here very excited as Dragon Freedom continues to make its way back to planet Earth. Next up, we'll stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen once they deploy, and they continue to ensure that the Dragon uh, spacecraft slows down even further. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Copy. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, four beautiful, healthy mains. Now awaiting visuals of splashdown. We'll start to hear Commander Nick Haig. Copy, 1,000. As we heard right there, Commander Nick Haig will be calling out the altitude of the Dragon capsule from here on out. Landing in water is simple. You can see those, uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining us... You're looking at 800 meters. A live view of Crew 9, just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Splash down two minutes from now at 2.57 p.m. Pacific. We do have four healthy mains really doing the job there. Just breathtaking views of a calm, glass-like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. This is really such an incredible shot. Uh, that Copy, was 600. That was a live view from our recovery vessel, uh, Megan, which is stationed a couple miles away from the splashdown site. We can see the crew there using their uh, their restraints as resting places for their arms. They were just in space moments ago, <laughs> so their arms were able to float freely. Four hundred meters. This is a gorgeous bluebird day here that we have for the splashdown of Crew 9. It's incredible to think that the Dragon capsule just minutes ago was going over 17,000 miles per hour and now gently coasting to a soft splashdown. 200. Copy, 200 meters. Brace for splashdown. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for Splashdown, located in the Gulf of America, um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And Splashdown, Crew 9, back on Earth. Down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home.
very different. Um, that the, the the panel that protects and covers the main parachutes that was uh, still intact, as well as the panels that enclose where the drogue parachutes are located. We can see those fast Freedom. boats. SpaceX is go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personnel alongside in the next few minutes. We can see those fast boats. We weren't kidding when we said they were fast. While it does take about 30 minutes for the main recovery vessel to make its way over to the capsule, these fast boats uh, will be doing a couple of things simultaneously. A couple of them are going to be working to retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background there of this drone shot. Those parachutes will be retrieved from the ocean surface. We want to make sure we, uh, we are able to pull those out. The recovery vessel there closest to the spacecraft is going to be performing some safety checks. We can see there they're using an instrument that is basically working to detect if there are any hypergolic vapors or fumes that are still residing in uh, and or around the Draco thruster nozzles or, or outlets. Uh, the hypergolic fuel, which is necessary for on-orbit uh, on orbit burns to con to maneuver the the spacecraft. Unfortunately, those hypergolics are um, are are unable to be breathed. They they are toxic, and so this team here is doing those initial safety checks to make sure that it is safe for the rest of the recovery team to approach the spacecraft.